Okay, everybody, Stephen Key here, and today I've got a very special guest all the way from where? Where, where am I? From Israel. It's, it's pretty far. It's, pretty, it's a, kind of far away, but that's okay. It, um, your first name says Shahar? Shahar? Yeah, it's, it's okay, Shahar, because it's Shahar, but Shahar is okay. I, I know it's hard to pronounce. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, just so everybody's watching... Uh, this particular company came on my radar because someone was designing in kind of the kitchen novelty gift industry and found your company. And I went to look at what you do and I was just really blown away. Your, the quality of your products are spectacular. They're very, very clever, by the way. Um, and I thought I would reach out to you and here you are. So thank you very much for coming on. Hey, thank you for, for calling me. So let's start at the very beginning. I want you to talk, if you um, talk a little bit about who you are, okay, and, and your company. And uh, let's start with that first. Okay. Okay. So basically, I started the company about 15 years ago, uh, just right after I finished my uh, the design studies. Uh, I had one product uh, that was the um, one called Chain Bottle Holder, which was a kind of a bottle holder made of chain. Uh, and the links of the chain are welded, so it looks like the chain is uh, floating in me there. Uh, and it was a, a pretty much success. Everybody wants one, so I started making them myself, one by one, and then it started to grow. Then some stores approached me and, and I start selling locally and then it was globally. To make a long story short, uh, it was just, uh, it started with one product. I had no intention to make a business out of it, but it just happened. And then uh, I had a demand for more products and I started to make more products and then it just uh, got bigger and bigger. We have a few designers uh, in-house, and we have um, a distribution uh, basically all over the world. Uh, we have uh, distributors in uh, most of the European countries. Uh, we have a partner in China, and um, the, 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 that's the short version of the story. Well, that's a good story. Thank you very much. I, I like that you started out small, and you were clever enough to, to grow your company and now it's selling everywhere. Um, there's a certain theme, not a theme, but it's there's a cleverness to your designs. Could you explain that a little bit? Because I saw, I think I saw the ones, egg, is it Eggwins? How do you pronounce egg, that? Yeah, the penguin egg holder. Yes, in fact, we're gonna show that, um, we're gonna show that video too, because the design was so clever to, to show how an egg would fit into the, the penguin. And then you would take all of them and you could put it in the boiling water. I mean, not only was it clever, it was functional. So talk a little bit about what you're looking for in terms of ideas. So basically, it, ho it all had to be functional. That's the first thing. Um, the design, we put a lot of effort, effort uh, on the design, but it's, uh, it, it, it only comes second. We have to make products that are functional and uh, desirable, so people will use them, not only buy them because they are cool and they put them in, in the drawer and never use them. Uh, I want people to use the product for, for many years, so okay. this is why um, we do it with uh, high quality materials. and. Um, I think the function is, is the number one priority. Okay. Uh, and, and if you mention this uh, specific uh, item, so um, I tell you a bit about the story behind it. Please. We work, we work with a few uh, designers or inventors or s all kind of people who, who have ideas. And uh, we have one uh, graphic designer who is sending us uh, ideas from time to time. And she just made a, a short sketch of uh, egg holder, some kind of a penguin with an egg in it. <laughs> J just like uh, something for one egg. And then uh, I looked at it and said, okay, this is a nice idea, but we need to make a product out of it. It's not enough that we have an egg holder or something to eat egg because we have 
few of those already. So we have to take it uh, one step uh, further. And uh, we decided to make something that will do three functions, basically. Uh, the first one is uh, for boiling them to make a hard egg or a soft egg. Uh, the second one is to serve, to put them in the table in, in a nice way. And the third one was uh, storage, to put them in the fridge, okay. to know that these are boiled eggs and not mm -hmm. like the others. So uh, we want all to be included in one product. So this is how this product, this, this idea of the whole scenario okay. uh, came up, J just to do something that will do not only one thing, but three things that are connected. It's very well designed, very well thought out. Functionality is fantastic, but it's clever. That's the thing that it puts, kind of puts a smile on your face, doesn't it? That's what I liked. Uh, I, I think this is something that we try to do in all of our products. Uh, it has to put smile on your face. Okay. Otherwise, we fail. Uh, it has to be fun to use. It has to have some maybe magic in it. Magic. Uh, some physics. Okay. It's things that I personally like. Uh, so, you know, it, it has some physics in it because when you put them in the water, you have the handle uh, outside. Yes. But because of the material we use, the handles stay cold. Okay. So when you want to take them out, you just take the, the you, you can pull it from the handle without take the whole pot and put it, you know, with the boiling water and everything. So you just take out the eggs, put them in, 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 in cold water if you want a, a easy peel afterwards. So um, it has something, you yeah. know, some function, some magic, some... It, yeah, it's 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 clever. It's functional, even though it's simple. There's, there's some technology behind it, which is kind of magical in itself. Um, A little bit. Yeah. So let's talk about inventors. I mean, so if if I'm an inventor and I've got a good idea, I can send it to you. Basically, yes. It's pretty easy. Pretty easy. We have, yeah, we also have a submission. Uh, on the website, we get a lot of ideas from all over the world okay. uh, to, to this uh, submission. Uh, but of course, uh, you can also write me personally. Um, it, it all gets to me in, in, eventually. But okay. um, we have, you know, we have a lot of ideas coming in. I, I guess you know that only few of them uh, are good. Um, so we, we have a very long process of uh, narrowing down uh, the, the, and take only the, the few good ideas to, okay. to, make that, to make them happen. And once we get an idea that uh, we think is good, uh, we take the process of design. So when we get an idea, it can be sometimes people just write us a few words of an idea they have. Sometimes it's a sketch, and sometimes, you know, from industrial designers, uh, we have sometimes a complete product. Okay. Uh, but we know to take uh, each and every one of these options and make it a full product. So, okay. so this is what we do. We're taking, even if only it's just a start of, of an idea, okay. uh, even if it's not developed yet, we do the process. Got it. Um, so your ideas, where do they... Where do the most of the ideas come from? Do they come from one particular, is it Canada, the UK, Australia, the United States? We're basically, we're, I want everybody to know these ideas are coming in around the world, but is there one particular place that you see more ideas coming from that are submitted to you? Uh, the easy answer is Israel. I, I don't know, it's because we are uh, okay. very familiar here. Okay. But uh, most of the designers come from Israel, uh, but we have also from uh, the U.S., from Canada, from Germany, um, from Taiwan, from uh, South Korea. Okay. Uh, so it's, it's all over the world, but, but I think it's easy for uh, Israeli designers uh, to, to approach us because they, they know us, basically. They know. Maybe now more people will know us. So. Well, we're gonna we're gonna change that, okay? <laughs> <We're> yeah. gonna, <laughs> Be my guess. We're gonna change that. So let's talk about. Um, so you could have a, a sketch. You could maybe write a paragraph, maybe a video, maybe something that's even further developed. So you're just looking for that that magic. You're looking for that thing that kind of fits what your mission statement, your 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 goals are. 
So let's say that idea comes in. How long does it take? Explain that process when you get a submission. Is it just you? Do you bring in somebody else to look at that product submission? What's involved in that process and how long does it take for you to get back to somebody? Okay. So basically, um, there, there is the, the head designer. Uh, she, uh, she's seen them all and, and everything goes also through me. And um, most of them are not good enough. That, that, that's how it works. Yes. But uh, for those who, who have the potential, so we sit together and, and think it, 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 in principle it's something that can work. Um, maybe we consult with other designer, in, designers in the studio. Uh, but once that we think that it's a good idea, then we start the development for something that we call um, a distributor presentation. Twice a year, it's usually in the, in the big shows in the Ambiente in Germany in February and in the Maison de l'Objet in Paris. Uh, we go there, we exhibit, and we meet uh, all our distributors. And then we show them some kind of a presentation of the ideas that are still ideas in this stage. Okay. They are pretty developed, so you can see the product, uh, the size, the material, the package, everything. We design it, when you look at it, it's like an existing product, okay. but in this stage, it's only in the computer. All right. uh, and then we get some feedback, which is very important feedback because these are our clients. Okay. These are the people who are going to buy this product. All right. So um, if uh, many of them think it's a good product, then we will proceed to the next stage. And if most of them say, no, it's, uh, that's a bad category or this kind of products we have few and it doesn't sell, okay. you know, eventually it will it have to sell. Yes. It's not only about design. It's not about what we want. It's about what we will sell. So are you right all the time? Or do you make, sometimes you love an no. idea, you show it, people don't like it. What happened? <laughs> I'm not right all the time, no. All right. Um, I, I think that when we, when we have a bestseller, I think we can feel it. Okay. Um, we, we have a feeling that it will be a bestseller, but sometimes we have a good feeling about products that are not uh, they, they, they're not selling good in the market. Uh, sometimes we can think maybe what went wrong uh, or, or what was missing with our uh, process that end up with a product that doesn't sell. Okay. Uh, and sometimes it's just the way it is, you know, it's, it's hard to predict. You cannot have all the products best sellers, although that we think that every product that we develop, we hope it will be best seller. Okay. But only a few <laughs> will reach there. Well, there's one thing, we're gonna put a video up in just a minute. In fact, we should put it up now because you have a video really explaining what you're looking for in terms of price point uh, size, material, uh, you really do a very good job. So we're going to put that up and people are going to watch that. Hi everyone, we are Pelag Design. Pelag Design's main purpose is to create humoristic, fun, sophisticated products with an added value. We examine our environment and create new products with a playful approach. It's all about the attitude. The world of Pelag Design revolves around three basic principles functionality, aesthetics, and humor. What kind of items do we create? The studio's products are designed for home, office, and kitchen usage, as well as other living spaces. At Pelic Design, you can find a wide range of products starting from bookmarks, magnetic key holders, poultry drainer and egg yolk separators, to wine bottle holders and sugar jars. So, what are we looking for? We are looking for creative and refreshing ideas, which both answer customers' needs that haven't been answered till now, and turn what was once an ordinary product to a desirable and surprising one. Here is where you fit into our story. Look around you. Allow yourself to imagine and see the ordinary and common from a different angle. Through this experience, Try to bring to life a new and exciting idea that everyone would be happy to have. Throughout the wide range of products we design, there are some do's and don'ts. We don't design lighting. 
We don't design products with electric circuits, and the product shouldn't be bigger than about this much. The main target audience of our products is made up of people between ages 18 and 44. Mostly women, but also men. How much do Pelic Design's products cost? Our product price range is between 5 and 30 euros, so when designing your product, keep that in mind and ask yourself if the product you're designing matches this price range. Just before we wrap things up, here are some important parameters to keep in mind. 1. Be a leader, not a follower. It is okay to redesign items that already exist, but if you do, make sure that your product is better than all others. 2. It is important to create a product that's easy to use and understand. 3. Use common technologies and materials, such as plastic, silicone, metal, paper, etc. Try to avoid fragile materials such as ceramic and glass. 4. The product should approach a wide range of customers and not a narrow or very specific audience. 5. Make sure that your product is user-friendly. Last but not least, enjoy the process. Have fun, observe your environment, study its needs and create a beautiful, desirable product. Good luck! I wish more companies would do that. And I'm sure people that are watching this are going, yes, Steve, you're absolutely right. This is what we need. So thank you for doing that because it's, um, when I watched it, it was done, it was very educational. It was very, very to the point, but it, it really explained your, you know, your age, you know, from women purchasing, their age, everything. And, and most inventors need that type of information. What what was your thought when you put that together? I mean, was that, how, why was that important for you? Was that to help inventors do a better job to submit to you? Was that the reason why? Uh, basically, yes. Um, but, but I think it was because of all the ideas that we did receive were from different fields and different kind of products that's not suitable for our markets. <laughs> our market is very narrow market and uh, um, I understand that. I need the people who are sending ideas. We know uh, the kind of market we are dealing with because it's a gift market. Yes. Uh, it's, it's all about innovation. So sometimes people uh, uh, write me an email that they have an invention of something for uh, babies, for, for babies in the car. So it's not for us or something medical or, or you know, all kind of invention. There are plenty, but we're looking for only for product that will uh, okay. be, be with our line. Mm -hmm. You know, we have a line of product. It had to fit. Okay. I like that you're giving people a target to hit and telling, actually telling people what you don't want. You said you don't want electronics and you kind of go through some of the things that you're really not looking for, which I really, I think that was really smart. Um, so anyway, I just want to thank you for coming on and opening the doors and we'll see if people send you some really smart things because mm -hmm. um, I'm just so happy to get to know you and, and what you're doing for inventors around the world. So thank you very much. Thank you for coming. <laughs> it was a very nice talking to you.